What is good, YouTube? Charon FX back. Hey, man, listen, before we get right into this video, I just want to let you know I really appreciate you all for the support. Man, we, we are currently at 611 subscribers. I really appreciate you all, man. But our goal is to hit 1K by the end of July. So let's keep supporting, man. If you know you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to drop a comment down below. All right? If you're also interested in enrolling my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, just DM me on Instagram. The link is in the description below. If you know you are not yet profitable when it comes to trading, do yourself a favor by not skipping any parts of this video. All right? So with that being said, let's just get to business. All right, so taking a look at Euro JPY, all right? The Euro Japanese yen. We're on the age four time frame. So what do we need to do first? We first need to identify our trend. All right, we first need to identify our trend. And looking at the chart, what trend are we in? We're in a bullish trend. How do we know we're in a bullish trend? Let's identify our market structures. So let's go back in time and let's all identify our market structures together. All right. So starting from here, what do we have here? We have a higher low being created by price. You get me? We have a higher low being created by price. So after this higher low was created, what did price do next? It went back up to create a new higher high. All right. What did I say price did next? It went back up to create a new higher high. Why is this considered a higher high? Because this high is higher than that of what its previous high. Right, good. So after this higher high was created by price, what did it do next? It came back down to create a new higher low. Yeah, price came back down to create a new higher low. Why is this a new higher low? Because this low is higher than that of what its previous what higher low. Right. So after this higher low was created, what did price do next? It rallied back up to create a new higher high. What did I say price did? It rallied back up to create a new higher high. Why is this a higher high? Because this high is higher than that of what its previous higher high. You get me so this is our current or higher high. You get what I mean? Good. So after this higher high was created, what did price do? Price came back down. Is this considered as our new higher low? No. This can be our new higher low. Why? Because Price never went back up to close above what our current higher high. Again, we in case price should close above our current higher high, then this higher low becomes our current so higher low. Alright, you get what I mean? Good. So now going to next week, what we want to see price do is to close above what this current higher high. You get me? If it manages to close above this current higher high, then this becomes our new higher low. But if it doesn't, what we're expecting price to do is to create a double high and do what and drop back down. Do you understand? Good. So now we've identified our trend on the H4, all right? And we've also identified our market structures. And looking at our market structures, what can we see? We can see that price was creating a series of higher highs and what higher lows, which signifies that the market is in a bullish trend. Or it's in an uptrend. Do you understand? Good. So after we've identified our trend or our market structures on the H4 time frame, what do we do next? We go down to a lower time frame, which is what our H1 time frame to look for what our entries. Alright, so now going down to the H1 time frame, I'm about to show you all how I was able to catch this 200 pip move. Alright? This one I'm about to show you all. So now let's go down to the H1 time frame. All right. So now coming down to the H1 time frame, what do we need to do first? First is first. Same thing we did on the H4. We first need to identify our H1 time frame market structures. Mind you, we are only looking to buy, not to sell. Why? Because the H4 trend was bullish. You get me? So we are only looking to what? We are only looking to buy. Not to sell. So we don't want to have anything to do with bearish market structures. All we will be waiting for is bullish market structures. All right. So now let's start from the left and let's identify our market structures. So if you are to start from the left, what do we realize? You realize what a series of what bearish market structures. 
which are what lower highs and lower low. We are not interested in bearish market strategies. We are interested in only bullish market strategies. So now, this was the last bearish structure price created. Or this was the last what lower high price created. Alright? So now, all what we are waiting for is for price to break above this lower high. To confirm a shift in structure or a change in structure. Alright? That's all what we are waiting for. We are waiting for price to close above or to break above this lower high. You get me? And the price do that. Yeah, price did that right here. Price broke above it over here. So now this becomes our, our current higher low. Alright? This bullish market structure only fails if price was able to come back down to close above this wall, this higher low. You get me? So after price was able to break above our lower high, what were we waiting for? We were waiting for a retracement. Now there are two approaches to take an entry on this trade. All right. So the first approach is the one I used to take my entry. So that's what I'll teach you guys first. Then I'll teach you the second one after I'm done with my approach. All right. So after price, created this higher high, price retraced down before it continued the move. You get me? Look at the retracement carefully. What can you see? We can see what a falling wedge chart pattern being formed. Okay, what did I say we can see? We can see a falling wedge chart pattern being formed. You get me? Not only that, if you are to take a Fibonacci and drop from this higher low to this higher high, what can we see? We can see that our retracement bounced off our, our golden zone. It bounced off as soon as it got into our golden zone, which is our, our 50 and 61.8 Fibonacci level. I call it a golden zone. You get me? So did I enter the trade after price got into our golden zone? No, I didn't. I waited for the breakout of our of our chart pattern so now let's go over our confluences right so confluence number one is a change in structure from bearish to bullish confluence number two is our chart pattern our bearish flat chart pattern confluence number three is what our fibonacci level you get what i'm saying and our confluence number four is what our candlestick breakout you get me Good. So let me zoom in so we see where price was able to break out of the chart pattern. So right here. So price broke out with this bullish candlestick. Right? As soon as price broke out with this bullish candlestick, that's when I went in for what? I went in for buys. Place my stop loss below the wake of this second um, bullish candle. And my take profit to a negative 27% Fibonacci extension level. That's why I place my take profit. Or you can also place your take profit to this level. To this line right here, which is our which is our our H4 higher high level. You get me? Which gives us a risk to reward ratio of what of one is to four. You get me? Or one is to five. Risking 37 pips to make 180 pips. You get you get what I mean? Good. So now this is our first approach. So now let me teach you all the second approach, how you could have also looked at this market or how you could have also approached this market, all right? So the second approach is same thing, bearish structure to bullish structure. After price created this higher high, all what you could have waited for was for price to retest this resistance right here, all right? All what you could have waited for was for price to work come down to retest this resistance right here. But when price came back down, was our resistance retested? No. What did price do? It broke below our resistance. After it broke below our resistance, what did it do next? It came back and broke above it. Right? After price broke above our resistance, what did it do next? Did it retest our resistance? Yeah, it did. Y'all take a look right here. After price broke above our resistance, what did he do? He retested with this doji. Okay. Price retested with this doji candlestick. Alright. So after price retested with this doji candlestick, what did he do next? What next candle was printed? A bullish candlestick was printed. 
which was which is this black candle right here do you understand good so take a look at this candlestick formation pattern this bearish doji and bullish candlestick pattern what candlestick pattern is this this is what we call the morning star candlestick pattern you get me this is what we call the morning star what candlestick pattern yeah there's three candlesticks Yeah, these three candlestick patterns. The morning star candlestick pattern. Mind you, this candlestick was formed after price retesting the resistance. So this even gives you a strong confluence. You get me? So after you get this candlestick confirmation, that's when you go in for your buys or you go in for your longs, right? Place your stop loss right below our resistance zone and I'll take profit to our H forward higher high. Risking 36 pips to make what? 176 pips. You know, or 180 pips. Giving us a risk to reward ratio of 1 is to what? Same thing, 1 is to 5. You get what I'm saying? So these are the two ways on how you could have approached this market. You get what I mean? As simple as that. As simple as that. In case you didn't understand anything I did, just go over the video. Alright? In case you didn't understand anything I did, just rewatch the video over and over again to understand what I did. I and also like I said earlier on, if you're interested in catching moves like this, just DM me on Instagram to get yourself enrolled in my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, right? And if you also haven't yet subscribed to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to drop a comment down below, rating this video from one to ten. I let's get this channel to one K subs. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Charan FX, peace. I'm out.